We're SLM Solutions, Group AG from Germany, producing uh, selective laser melting equipment on a global scale. Uh, my name is Stefan Ritt. I'm head of global marketing communication, sort of 20 years in the industry. Uh, well, what's the latest developments in this technology and with the machine? We brought our mid-sized uh, machine this year, which is SLM 280 2.0. Uh, by the way, a machine that rushed, just reached uh, the biggest uh, single order ever in AM history in China. 50 units sold to a big Chinese group for an estimated uh, revenue between 25 and 45 million euros. I think that has not been topped before. Uh, so why are people convinced about this? Uh, this is a machine that really serves production. It can have up to uh, uh, two lasers each 700 watt working simultaneously and overlap. It has a very huge uh, uh, powder tank which is uh, more than enough for a full build. Uh, build volume at this moment 280 mil by 280 mil by 365 mil uh, and we're very happy to present this latest status uh, at the show. Uh, last year at big Formlex show in Germany, we've seen first concepts uh, of uh, ideas of fully automatic production throughout this year. We've seen a few project announcements that people want to build up that. As of my knowledge today, we do not have a full process chain ready developed, full working, uh, autark, autonomous uh, uh, factory or industry uh, with SLM. What we're working on, however, uh, is uh, to automate uh, the powder cycles. Uh, years ago we've been the first company offering a closed loop powder cycle within this machine including sieving and recycling of the powder on an automatic scale. Uh, at Formlex you'll see a vacuum assisted automatic powder uh, recycling and sieving system. You'll see um, the base machine of the SLM 800 uh, project which also is an automated depowdering and handling of very heavy parts uh, from a build platform uh, 500 by 280 by 800 mil uh, in z-axis uh, so I think all of us in this industry we're slowly getting there um, however none of us is already there uh, our customer CA models in Scotland uh, they are a service bureau that's very much involved in Formula One racing teams uh, so the, 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 this is a front spoiler part uh, guiding the airflow uh, to the brakes uh, uh, of a Formula One racer and you don't only see that it's uh, made of aluminum, you also see that's highly polished and the reason I raise that is that what we all have to work on is the post-processing chain uh, of different technologies associated together uh, with the SLM process. We uh, cannot just sit on our SLM machine and say we make a nice highly qualified 3D printed part we have to see to the five to ten steps more until we have reached a finally usable part. Uh, the way these things have been manufactured before were either casting uh, or uh, yeah, multi-welding uh, parts. Uh, what you see here is uh, that again you do not need any molding, you do not need any tooling. It is not particularly inherent in the SLM process, but the savings you have not being uh, forced to use other technologies is the big key in this part. Yeah? You're, uh, you're much faster and it's also a part that potentially will not be produced a few hundred or a few thousand times. It's for very specific use. Uh, next another use may be other adaptions uh, of lengths or, or mountings on that. So one by one you really have a one-off complexity uh, which you can adjust part by part.